Hello, what's up? Gleb Alexandro here, and today we are going to talk about OSL Procedural Dirt in Blender. There are a few ways of making procedural dirt in Blender. Probably the most common way is to use Vertex Paint. Andrew Price has explained it very well in a tutorial called How to quickly add dirt to crevices. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend to do it, it's very comprehensible and easy to follow. Probably the less common way to approach a dirt in Blender is to use a shader. Unfortunately, a built-in ambient occlusion shader is too limited to be used in a practical situation involving dirt. So today we are going to use OSL Dirt Shader by Francois Gasteldo. To demonstrate the technique, I'll be using Rocket Artillery model by Soncro from BlendSwap. First, let's make a render with a grey material and save the result to compare it later on to our dirty model. Now let's open material editor and add a script node. Select external and open the OSL shader. Then simply connect the color out output to diffuse shader color input. And let's set indirect illumination to zero to make the effect more pronounced. And set the angle to something like 170 and leave the distance in 0.5. The angle of dirt behaves kinda like a fall off. A bigger value will produce more dirty look or darker corners in terms of ambient occlusion. But what if we want to invert the ambient occlusion to affect the edges of our geometry? Using this OSL shader we can simply set the mode to 1, angle to something like 25 and lower the distance and make it 0.1. From here we can move to other things such as adding procedural noise to this dirt map or using it as a mixed factor between two materials. Possibilities are endless, if only our cell shaders could work on GPU. Personally I think it's the biggest drawback of this technique. I really hope you like this method, I'm Leber Alexandro, thanks for watching and stay tuned.